We ran a, a, a programme uh, very recently locally, um, which was along the sort of lines. It wasn't, it wasn't quite the same, but it was along similar lines, and it was working with communities with our, our science centre locally in Dundee. And we had a member of the public who was a part of that that gave us probably what was the, the best quote. If we had to buy a quote, I don't think we could have <laughs> bought a better quote. And what she said to us was that she'd had no experience with science, but she'd found herself on a jury in a, a major and a serious crime. And she realised that throughout that, she really didn't quite understand what the science was all about. So obviously the communication in that particular case was not great. After she'd come away with us and she'd gone through the, the several weeks of, of fairly, not, not low-level science, because it, it really did rack up mm -hmm. to a level of, of requiring interpretation, she felt much more comfortable and she came back and said, if I only knew then what I know now, I wouldn't have felt lost. And the end of this course, people will not be experts. They will absolutely not be experts. They cannot hang the shingle outside their door and say, I'm a forensicologist. They absolutely can't. <laughs> but what they will do is if they find themselves in a courtroom, as every member of the public could do, they might just know which questions they should be asking. In our world of forensic science, what's important in those two words is the science bit. What's less important in it is the forensic bit. Go be a scientist first, and then take your science and apply it to the forensic world.